You are now watching the Blender Daily Tips and Tricks, and this is lesson number 25. In this lesson, we're going to see how we can rig mouths. So you can choose any character you want, but I will start from the default head or the default character that may be derived from Blender, and you can add from here, which is the popular monkey. And let's go and start, and I will go to the shape keys and add four shape keys. The first one will be mouse up and the second will be mouse mouse down and the third will be mouse out and the fourth will be mouse mouse in and let's go back and I will pause the video until I will define these four shape keys and it can be defined easily by going to the edit mode and you can choose from here let's disable this for a moment and go to g and decrease this one and let's go back and like this you can go up maybe scale in x like this and go like this this will be the up and I will pause the video until I will make the four shape keys. Alright, so we are now done with all these four shape keys and this one as you can see we have this one to be down and this one will be out like this and maybe I will make something let's go here and choose this one will be like this and this one will be in like this all right so how we can rig this it's very easily we will start to add an armature single bone and i will name the armature to be maybe face armature and this one will be head or mouse control this bone will be mouse control so you can define if you have a lot of bones so i will uh, go and move it to be here and uh, let's go here and move it like this all right so uh, after that i will make something let's go back uh, so i will select the shape after i have defined that we have some bone so i will select the shape and we'll go to mouse up and i will add driver to be manually create later so uh, we can go to the another i will add another menu and i will go to the graph editor and switch to drivers by default you will see that you have this mouse up has a driver so uh, what with will be the, uh, the solution for this so we, we can maximize this and minimize this because we have only one and i will go to the drivers and select the maximum value select our armature i think we have armature and you have mouse control anyway we have we must go to define this name anyway uh, we can make it easily face All right, uh, and after that I will go to the drivers and select the Z location and to be local space. So let's test it in the 3D view. I will select this one, go to the pose mode and go up and go down. Uh, so we have added the driver to the wrong one and I think up to must be so let's go and select this one and in the object we can apply the scale and i think we can apply the rotation and the scale and after that it uh, may be go here and i will select this one go to, to the f curve and the value Let's test it in the 
All right, so the problem is that uh, we was going to the wrong direction, so I will choose our uh, mesh. Uh, ignore uh, this uh, bone for a moment, and you will select, uh, let's select all, and press home, and you will see this line. And this line, which is here, you can see this, uh, this uh, item or this uh, line. And uh, we will uh, make it uh, in the frame one a value of minus one. And if you go, you will see that this effect isn't uh, so strong. So we will see that it's minus uh, maybe five. And after that, let's go here and move. You will see that it's uh, working. So I will uh, select this and uh, let's copy the driver and paste the driver in all other like this. I will paste the driver and best it here and best another time here and uh, maybe choosing this panel and going to hide all and the mouse down will be the same uh, like mouse up but we will uh, select all and going to this point and at minus five it will be five and uh, that's it for now so mouse out will be another thing it will be going to the x location and uh, maybe choosing this value let's test it for a moment we have this one and x location so in the x minus location it's going out we want it uh, to be uh, positive to be out so we will select it we will select so we will select mouse out and going to this point and it's now five we will say it's maybe four and uh, this also will be mouse in and will be minus four and going to this x location uh, let's go uh, again here and let's test it in and out and up and down as you can see if we going to g shift y you will see that we have this one so let's go here and in the front view you can g shift y to move in all direction in up and down and as you can see we are uh, moving like this up and down uh, or moving in this direction and up and down finally if you want to make this strong and go behind, uh, go up the values that you have making so you can select our mesh and in the shape case you can it move or make maximum value to be two and I will try it for a moment and let's select this one and G as you can see it's going in all directions the double the value that you have set so just increase the maximum value that you have set in your shape case so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you enjoy this tutorial you can subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video and i will discuss another tip and tricks and i will i apologize personally for the audio quality for this video and i will try to enhance this audio quality in the next video